Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again. Listen, I've had a few inquiries, inquiries. People just wanted to know, what is this babe cave you keep talking about? You, you've seen my man cave, right? But I did build my wife a babe cave. I wanted to show you guys that. But first, if you guys are interested in man caves, tools, survival stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We'd like to do that type of stuff here on the channel. And yes, there is a Discord channel. We get real interactive in there. The link is down below as well. Let's jump into this babe, babe cave. This might be something you want to build for your wife, your spouse, your partner. Call it a glam cave, makeup, you know, escape room, whatever. Just make it happen. All right, so first we have the outside. I did put some curtains on these French doors just to kind of make it a little bit more, you know, um, that good feeling of having that good privacy and all that good stuff. So we enter into the room itself. And the first thing we get here is her couch. Now this couch, um, it's an emerald green couch. Originally got this thing from Wayfair. I like this thing a lot. It, uh, you know, kind of ties the room together. The theme of this room is an emerald and gold. So we got the, you know, we got the emerald and gold pillowcases, which are on top and just some different art pieces. I didn't want the whole room to be just completely emerald out. So I found these flowers at Sea Gallery and kind of just buy them. They're made of metal. So they're, she likes paper flowers. And so I decided to get some metal flowers. They're a little bit more durable and last a little bit longer. This bookshelf did come from um, Amazon. So I'll link all this stuff up below where I found these items. And this bookshelf itself, you know, faux marble tops, but they're durable, especially if it's just going to be an adult in here. You don't have to worry about too much stuff. Got her some pleaser shoes. You can come in here and just fool around with those, dance, you know, whatever. Got her some nice uh, bookends for her books that she's interested in and some books that she likes to read and check out. She's really big into like the Orisha and the African gods and goddesses. So she has that and some wig forms with some wigs on top that she can play around with and practice styling some stuff um i did put up the gold curtain rod with some white curtains so she can close those as she sees fit in the corner so the goal with this room is to feel like you just stepped into your own studio apartment you can have your friends here there's no pictures of the family there's no pictures of kids there's no pictures of husband nothing so this ottoman serves two purposes it you can sit on it right it's an ottoman but you can also store your blankets inside so whatever she wants to store right now she has blankets inside she likes to throw blankets so there's one on top of there we have this love sack in the corner here this is the city sack i believe the city sack version of the love sack and it is really comfortable so the city sack i think can handle one adult one kid and found that artwork from target we transition to the main center or the main focal point of the room itself is her uh, vanity desk. Now her vanity desk, I got from Impressions Vanity. They make some really nice stuff. It has a see-through glass top. So now she can see, I'm missing this. I need to get more of that, you know, whatever. And she can just peek right through and see what she needs to purchase and restock her items. Got her some makeup brush holders. I also got those on Amazon. Holds lipstick and makeup in those little faux pearl looking things. Actually pretty cool. So I bought her an uh, MacBook Air, the M1 version. Those things are pretty cool. You can check out a bunch of videos of those on YouTube. And so this vanity desk tells you the temperature inside the room, her type of temperature. It's 80 degrees in here. Rest of the house is probably cooler has Bluetooth, tells you the time, has a radio on it as well. Pretty cool desk. This holds her perfumes and eyelashes and whatever else she wants to throw in there. I did put a little Google uh, Nest Hub on the vanity itself. So now she can do, you know, in-depth makeup tutorials right on the uh, vanity and not have to move anywhere. Vanity desk is accented in gold. Really nice, has good gold pools for the drawers. That's all tied together with her chair. So her vanity chair is emerald green. Nice throw pillow on there as well. And has gold legs, all sitting on top of a um, white shag rug. So she picked out this trash can. It's one thing she did pick out. Um, I just wasn't sure what to throw in here. So I have that. My wife is Trinidadian. So she has the Caribbean 
blood in her so i got a map of the caribbeans and it includes she also has a venezuelan uh, descent as well so it has venezuela has trinidad and all the other caribbean islands uh so ducked off in the corners a 65 inch tv now i didn't want this to be the main focal point of the room hence why i put it in the corner so the first thing you see is the desk and her love sack versus a big old tv so but you can see this tv from any angle in the room and i like it a lot so obviously she likes it as well this bar card this bar cart's really nice. Um, I think I got it from Amazon. I, I'll check, make sure I link all that up for you. But on the bar cart stuff, she likes to drink. She likes rum and amaretto and tequila as her friends drinks that stuff and puckers and all that other type of stuff. So that's what it's stocked up with. Here we have the Orisha goddesses. She likes, like I said, as I mentioned before, she likes the Orisha gods. And so she has Oye and Oshan and Yamaya, I'm probably mispronouncing all these names. The wife is a gamer, so she has an Xbox in here. Over there on the floor is the actual box for the Xbox. But uh, so she likes to game it up sometimes. So I, um, she has a signed copy from one of her favorite artists, Cardi B, the vinyl record. And um, I guess she'll get a vinyl record player in here. She doesn't have one. There's one in my man cave, but that's up to her. She wants to get one and rock and roll nice glassware for her drinks now we transition to the bottom of the cart so this purse is a clock this clock is a purse however you want to say it you can see a little second hand moving around there but it's an actual functioning clock so i put that down there from her collection the bottom of the bar cart is completely mirror so that's a unique feature in my opinion next to the purse is a makeup refrigerator I never heard of those things before until I bought it. Basically, you uh, you can store things that need to be refrigerated, jade rollers and creams and all that good stuff, in the makeup refrigerator. And then the entire front of the refrigerator itself is mirrored as well. And next to her bar cart is a unique looking lamp. Now this lamp is, I think it was from Wayfair Pickup, but that way she didn't have to turn on the big light. The vanity lights can get hot. And, she can turn this on, but I haven't turned on the big light in this room. And of course, a babe cave is not a babe cave without a mirror. All right, so that's it. What do you think, man? Is it something you would be interested in doing? Maybe build a babe cave? Just make it happen, man. If you're interested in man caves, I'll click, click right here. Just put there. I'm going to put a link of my man cave. Check it out. Maybe get some ideas for your own. If you're interested in survival stuff, stuff like that, click, click there. Put a playlist of stuff you can check out. In the meantime, we'll speak soon.